Hi everyone, it's Mrs. King Crosby. This is lesson 4.4 of Properties of Materials, our final lesson of the unit. Here we go. Activity one, observing final glues. After all our hard work designing glue for school use, today we'll get to write to the principal. First, we will observe the frames we made with our final glues. Remember, you guys did this from your last lesson. Pick up your picture frames gently to observe them. Most picture frames will break if you apply a lot of pressure, so be gentle. Now turn to this page in your packet. Observe the picture frame you made. Record your evidence about how well your glue met each design goal. Now it's okay if your frame broke, because observing carefully is the important thing. So now, what observations do you have about the picture frames and final glues? Now, let's go back to this page and think about our design goals. The title of this page is Final Glue Observations. Did your glue meet the goals of being sticky and strong? What is your evidence? So our first design goal, sticky and strong. And the evidence that goal was met was that flour and water made my glue sticky and strong. Now, did your glue meet the design goal that we chose together as a class, which was thick? And what is your evidence? Well, the evidence that we got was that flour and water also made my glue thick. Lastly, did your glue meet the design goal that we chose, which was dry clear? And what's your evidence there? We found out that gelatin helped make my glue strong and clear. Which glue ingredients helped you get the specific properties you wanted? Let's think about this. The flour and water made our glue sticky, strong, and thick, and gelatin helped make it strong and dry clear. The observations we made will help us complete our letters to the principal in the next activity. Activity two, writing a letter to the principal. Here is a letter from the principal. Dear second grade students, I heard that you have each designed a glue recipe to help us solve our need for better glue. The teachers and I are eager to hear your ideas. We would like each of you to write a letter about which ingredients you chose for your glue. Please write a clear design argument for why those ingredients are the best ones for making glue. It will be very important for you to provide evidence to support your claims. You may also share your ideas about how the glue should be packaged. Thank you for your hard work. We are looking forward to reading about your glue recipes. Sincerely, your principal. Now you will write back to the principal in letters of your own. And in your letter to the principal, you will write a design argument that presents your design goals, tells about your glue mixture, and explains how your glue meets your design goals. Find this page in your packet. It's a checklist for you. It's titled, What is a Design Argument? It has four different things that we need to hit. Number one, it answers a question with a claim about what best meets the design goals. Number two, it connects evidence to each of the design goals. Evidence can be observations, information from tests, ideas from books. Number three, it uses scientific language. And number four, it is written for an audience. You see, written for an audience is highlighted because this is a new guideline for us. You will need to keep your audience in mind as you write. And remember, your audience is the principal. Now, find these pages in your packet. These pages will help you write the letters to the principal. Let's read the directions and complete the first part of the letter together. Let's start with the first page. It's titled, End of Unit Writing, Arguing About a Final Design Glue Design. Directions, complete the sentence in the letter to the principal and in the table below. So it wants us to list the, your four design goals on the number lines so the principal will know what you are trying to achieve with your glue design. The blue blue pause button on the right corner is a reminder that you can pause the video now to write your design goals. So now is the time to pause 
and write down your four design goals. Okay, here's what you probably wrote. One, must be sticky. Two, must be strong. Three, must be thick. Four, must dry clear. Now let's record the ingredients in your glue recipe and then record the properties that these ingredients have. This will help the principal understand what ingredients are in the glue. The blue pause button is for you to now pause the video to record, which is to write your ingredients and properties. Let's see if this is what you have down. Ingredient, flour. Properties, sticky and thick. Second ingredient, gelatin. Properties, slippery when wet, clear and thick when dry. Water, property, thin and wet, helps mix ingredients. Now we will work on the second page. It's titled, End of Unit Writing, Arguing About a Final Glue Design. Now it's time to explain to the principal why you chose your ingredients. Keep the properties of the ingredients in mind as you write. So now is the time to pause the video and record why you chose these ingredients. Here is what I wrote. I chose these ingredients because I wanted my glue to be sticky, strong, thick, and dries clear. I chose ingredients that were sticky, strong, thick, and dries clear so that my mixture would also be sticky, strong, thick, and dries clear. Now let's go to the next one. Describe the properties of your final glue. Tell the principal what your glue is like. Now pause the video and write what your final glue is like. I wrote, the properties of my final glue are sticky, strong, thick, and dries clear. Now let's use evidence to show that your glue meets each design goal. Remember, we got evidence by observing, reading, and testing. So now pause the video and write down what evidence your glue meets for each design goal. Here's what I wrote. I know that my glue meets each design goal because my glue is good at meeting the design goals of being sticky, strong, thick, and dries clear. I know my glue is sticky, strong, and thick because my glue worked really well to hold my picture frame together and when I did my strength test. I know it dries clear because it dried clear when it finally dried on my picture frame. So now we finished writing the letters to our principal. Activity three, final reflection. Let's go back to our unit question. How can you design a mixture for a certain purpose? What was the purpose that we designed our mixtures for? The purpose was for school use. And to answer a unit question, remember what we did to design glue. How can you design a mixture for a certain purpose? Well, decide on what properties a glue, good glue for the purpose would have and then mix together ingredients with those properties. We learn a lot about different ingredients, plan the mixture, make it, and test it. Sometimes we may go through the cycle a few times. Take a moment to think about designing glue mixtures and what you've learned. What ideas do you have about what we learned? As engineers, we have learned about a problem and through planning and testing, we have made something new and improved that will solve the problem. We designed and made glues that meet our design goals which will help solve the school's need for improved glues. I'll be submitting your ideas to your principal and we'll go from there. Hope you enjoyed this unit and learned a lot about properties of materials. Great job, glue engineers.